Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can download Forge for Minecraft 1.16.5. So what you want to do is just go to the top link in the description and here you're going to be automatically brought to the download for Minecraft Forge um, 1.16.5 um, just directly here and you'll see there's two possible downloads. You can download the recommended version or the latest version. I recommend downloading the recommended version as it's sure that that's gonna work um, and that's gonna be all fine. So you can just click on that and you'll be brought to this advertisement page um, for these servers here. And you'll see here that you need to wait around five seconds and then you can click on the skip button. And once you click on that button, you can see that in the bottom left hand corner on my screen, Forge for 1.16.5 has started downloading. So now right before we get to actually installing that, you're going to need to just figure out for yourself if you've ever had in Forge version installed before. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter, just literally if you had it installed before. Um, and if not, you'll probably need to download a program called Java. Don't confuse it with Minecraft Java, but this is like Java as in the code Java. Um, you can download this from a website called Oracle. It'll be the second link in the description. Um, I'm not going to run through that. I already have it installed. Basically, just click on the uh, corresponding link that you need and install it. Um, and this is the program you need to use to run Forge. And now, as I said, if you've already had a version of Forge installed before, um, or if you've just installed this before in general, then you won't need to download it. Anyways, here we got my downloads folder, and um, you can see that Forge is right here because I downloaded it, and I've got my Minecraft launcher here as well. The reason why you're going to need to launch Minecraft launcher right now, um, well, you need to launch it if you've had a version of Java installed before. Now, it's very important that um, before you install Forge for 1.16.5, you go over to installations, and you check all the installations you have. Is there a forge there? There might not, or there might be, right? Um, if there is a forge version under your installations tab, you want to click on the three dots and then click on delete. Then click on delete again, and then you're going to be good. The reason you want to do this is because you can't have more than one version of forge in Minecraft at the same time, or else once you try to install this, the install is going to fail and you're going to be all confused. Yeah, um, so basically if you've never installed a version of Forge before, then you're all good. And if you have, you just need to remove it from there. Um, so that's fine. We got no version of Forge here and I've got Java installed, which means that now I can um, double click on this to execute it just like this. and. Um, Another thing you can do if that doesn't work, the double clicking, is going to open with, and then you want to select the um, Java TM binary S, Java TM platform SE binary, and this is the Java that you might or might not have just downloaded. Um, sometimes, if you double click on it, you'll also get a menu, and then you'll need to select um, this right here. And um, once you select that, you'll just get this exact same screen, right? So basically you want to make sure it's install client is selected right here. Right here is the location where this is going to get installed and you just want to leave this exactly like that. That's how you want it. Then you want to click on the OK button over here and it's just going to download some of the Forge libraries for you. Um, this is not going to take very long. It shouldn't take more than a minute at all. And here around 20 seconds later, um, I've successfully installed a client profile for Forge version 1.16.5 into the launcher, and they've downloaded the libraries for that as well. Um, so we can just click on the OK button there. And now what we have over here is the installer. And um, because it's already installed, we don't actually need the installer anymore. Um, and this is just the install log you have right here as well that it says that is a file that will automatically be created and because these are the installers and not the actual programs themselves you can basically just delete those as you won't need them anymore yeah um, so we can click that away and now um, once we head over to play over here you'll see that it's not actually there yeah um, so if you still had the minecraft launcher open what you're gonna need to do is just close it once again um, and then reload it and 
Once it's loaded up, the um, version um, of Forge 116.5 should automatically be selected right here. As you can see, as you can see, it's automatically selected right there. Um, once you click on play for the first time, um, it'll warn you about playing modded Minecrafts and the obvious security risks of that um, that you can create for yourself by downloading and installing mods, stuff like that. So you can basically just tick the checkbox there and click on OK. Um, then also once you launch it for the first time, it's just quickly going to need to download some stuff. Yeah, um, that's nothing you need to worry about. It's just downloading the file so it can run it. And this will only have to happen the first time you click on play as well. So with everything downloaded, Forge is going to, is going to start loading up right here. And now if you're used to different versions of Forge for Minecraft, it might look different than other versions you're used to. Um, each version will often look slightly different but as you can see over here we have launched forge for minecraft 1.16.5 and um, we're gonna be all good we can play um, we got our mods folder over here in which I currently have nothing but of course you can download those from the curse forge website or any other place you want now um, this is basically how to do it and one last thing before we end um, if you've had other versions of forge installed before then you you might be getting an error or something like that and if you're getting an error or it's not working then i'm going to show you how to fix that um it's just one method and for most of you guys it should work otherwise just ask me down in the comments and i'll be helping you guys out there um so basically what you want to do is press windows and r at the same time and remember this is only if you're getting an error and struggling um to um get it to work and then you want to type in percentage sign and then app data and then another percentage sign right there and then just click on OK or hit enter to go through and it should bring you in this folder called roaming and otherwise it should bring you here and then you just want to click on roaming anyways inside the roaming folder you should see a folder called dot minecraft um, you want to click on that and then in here you'll see a bunch of folders some of which you might have been in before um, and then one of which is also called mods and in my case this is empty because I have no mods installed for um, for Forge 1.16.5 but um, let's say hypothetically yeah I just had Forge installed for 1.19.4 which I did um, and let's say I had five mods in there. Now it's very important that you remove all mods that are not for the current version of Forge that you're running, um, you know, but before you launch it. Yeah, and so for example, if I'm here right now launching Forge for 1.16.5 and I have a mod in this folder which works for 1.19.4, Minecraft is going to launch and Forge is going to say that there's errors and I can't play it and it's going to be all goofy. Yeah, so basically what you just want to do is make sure that there's no mods here that are not for the version of Forge that you're launching. You can just store those in a different place um, and redrag them into this folder once you're launching Forge for that version. And if you're still getting errors and you also have mods in this folder but you think they're all for that version, um, a way you can easily troubleshoot it is just by simply um, going one mod at a time. So put in a mod, load it up. If it works, add in another one, etc. Go on, and then you should eventually find the culprit which is causing your Minecraft to malfunction. Anyways, that's basically how to solve that. Remember, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.